again, good afternoon, good morning, wherever it is you are. Um, if you remember, a few weeks ago, I met this guy at um, a place called Brynham Rocks in Yorkshire, and I went up to do uh, the first of our challenges. The idea was that we had three photographs, we produced three photographs in two hours, and then we compared. Well, this is the return leg. <laughs> Gary Sugden has come down to Norfolk in this case. We are at Backton Woods, which you can see laid out behind us. Um, and we're gonna see what Gary's like and indeed what I'm like in woodland. It's not the easiest genre. We're gonna separate, we're gonna give ourselves two hours to produce three photographs like we did last time. And we'll share each other's photographs. So there'll be a vlog for Gary, a vlog for me, and you can have a look and decide whether you think we've done a good job or not. It was really interesting last time. Gary's processing on the uh, Brynham Rocks pitch is completely different to mine. Um, what he looked at was completely different to mine. And actually, we've had a little bit of fun already this morning. And Gary sees things that I don't see and probably vice versa. So it will be an interesting challenge. You ready? I'm ready. OK, a little bit of comments. <laughs> <laughs> at my first image maybe I'm not sure really if I'm honest I don't quite know what's attracted me to this but it's drawn me back several times I've walked past twice and I just love this beech tree just leaning over and I say and I think it's actually the light that's caught catching the leaves it looks beautiful um, and I've kind of today I feel like I'm looking at contrast between lights and darks and light greens and dark greens and light greens can often look minty misty green and they can really stand out um, I took the one earlier along the avenue um, of trees which I really liked and one thing that I have learned is that in woodland photography, actually in all sorts of photography, things look different sometimes in the camera than they do to your eye. Your eye adjusts so quickly to the different contrast and the different light and, and you often don't see these differences but this is kind of standing out for me. Get some dark backgrounds. I'm just shooting it portrait. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. It's got a lovely slender, slim curve on it. It looks very elegant. Um, and in the background, we've got some light rays streaming through, which give it a kind of misty look. And I quite like it. You may not get to see it, I don't know, but I've shot it now, so that could be one in the bag. But who knows? What's interesting about these pictures, about these challenges, is you just don't know what's happening. You have to look at your watch, because we've got two hours and the clock is ticking. I've now only got one hour 50 at two minutes left, which I know is only eight minutes I've used, but. Am I going to get something? Am I going to wander around going, I just can't see anything? I don't know. I really generally don't know. Um, I have been here before. Yes, it is my home turf, but this is such a vast wood. Um, I don't, I've not been here in midday sun either, so I really don't know what's going to happen, but that's attracted my eye. Therefore, I photographed it. I might turn it high key, um, and this might look lovely and delicate, but right, that's done anyway. Uh, it's, in the, it's in the can, as they say, so let's move on to the next one and see what else we can spot. I'm just going to keep walking away from the car and then gradually work my way back in um, so that we can get back on time. But I hope Gary's getting on all right. I've seen one tree that he was, because we both noticed it, but he noticed it first. So he's photographing a lovely old tree, which I'm sure is going to look brilliant. Um, so hopefully he's got some good woodland images as well. So you'll be able to see six in the end. But. Let's move on. I love woodland. It's great to be in here anyway, as you know. OK, 
table. Here's another one. Again, this is all really just about the light. It's going to move so I don't get that branch in. Um, not 100% sure this is going to work. This, the shape of the tree is more landscape, so we're going to turn the camera landscape. Um, this will also allow me to do my 65-24 crop that I often do. Um, I don't know if that's working. I'm going to shoot it anyway. So we're going to go a little bit more wide open. We're going to go to somewhere around 35 mil. Um, got a tree on the right, a tree on the left, a tree on the third, and the little white tree, or the little lit up tree. Pretty much central. Some aeroplanes flying overhead. Excuse me if you can hear them. Um, so focus on this little, little tiny sapling, which is a chestnut. Um, I'm just gonna make sure, so I'll shoot it like that, but I'm just gonna make sure I don't burn the highlights out on this. I'm not sure this is gonna work, you know. I don't really, really confused. I wonder if I get a little bit lower with a tripod, I can just put the sunlit leaves against the darker background. Getting a bit lower might make it stand out a bit. In fact, that already looks better. Yeah, I think that works much better. So let's see if we like that. I like the sun kissing off the side of this tree on the left as well. Focus on there. Um, let's just get the meter in done. Third of a second, 5.6 to make it really stand out from the background. Don't know. Don't know. I'll put it on the screen anyway. You can have. You can be a judge, but I'm not saying I'm going to enter this into the challenge. Not yet. I'm not sure about it. This. I'm sure there's better. Let's move on again. Okay. This might suit me a bit better. There's a. Quite well grown oak tree in the middle of these pines here and the 6525 crop that I often use might work quite well might suit better a 16 by 9 but um, I want to get back as far as I can because I want to try and telephoto this to make it to just condense the perspective a little bit but sticking out against the brown brown background again moving left and right slightly we cut out more of the sky there is a patch of light to the left, but I'm quite happy to fill that in, you know? Wouldn't have done a few years ago, but I am. I am. So we'll do something with that. But I think this might work. It's kind of the oak, the green oak leaves against these lovely rough pine trees look beautiful. And a nice crop along here might work. If I can't get far enough back, what I'm gonna do is shoot a panoramic of it uh, and then stitch it together because I think that might work even better, which I think I may have to do, but we'll see how we go. Let's just try and shoot it first of all. <laughs> I have to go really high with this, but I've gone a little bit high key with it and there actually is some light rays that are coming in at the top. I think this could look really nice actually. I'm really pleased that I've spotted it. I'm just making sure, just gonna zoom in a bit to make sure we're focused on where I wanna focus because that's important. We must be focused on this main tree. Where's the trunk of it? Kind of. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. Those are the trees to the left. Okay, I can see the trunk right in the middle. So let's come back out of the focus in. Okay, that's cool. Cool, so we've got polarizer on it. Um, we've gone high key, so F8 at half a second is what I've shot that at to get the light rays coming in. High as I can get. I think that might just be the first one. Let's hope so. Right, move on. Doing okay, got an hour to go. I don't know whether you heard that, but some 
horse chestnuts falling down with a great big thud. I'm glad I've got a hat on. Um, this is really interesting to me because I don't normally see, th see this kind of thing, but look, another um, chestnut tree with a curvy little, little curvy trunk. I mean, there's a holly tree in front of it, which kind of is a shame, but um, the light on the leaves is wonderful. And I've just focused in portrait again on just using this. Um, with a dark background behind it. And that's what I'm seeing today. And if I came back in these woods again, there's no way I'd photograph that because it's all to do with the light and how the light plays on it. Um, there's some light streaming through the back here. And I think I wanna get into this challenge, one of my 6524, so. And for that, all I do is look for trunks. I look for light and trunks and this long, thin um, portrait, this long, this long thin landscape kind of um, format and I'm enjoying pine forest normally it's silver birches and oak trees today it's all about the pines so move that way how are we doing for time got another half an hour so time is ticking but I think we're doing okay I've got three images anyway it's just a question of whether I can improve on them now it's a bit like fishing, um, isn't it? You, you catch a carp and it's great, and then all you want to do is catch a better one or a bigger one. <laughs> Same with photography. Just loving being in here though, it's so nice. Right, let's move on. Okay, so before I get back to the car park, I just sort of thought I'd sum up this afternoon. It's been really interesting actually, because I have photographed things that I don't normally photograph. Today has been about the light and shafts coming in and contrast and happiness. And I said in a, a vlog a little while ago that photography can, you should use talk, your photography to express how you feel and I think I've done that today. Um, I've really enjoyed the stillness, the beautiful sunshine, this lovely warmth we're having in October here in the UK. And I think the photographs portray that. Don't know, you'll have to be the judge and tell me what you think. But I certainly feel that that's what I've been seeing. So I'm gonna back to the car now, meet up with Gary and see how we got on. And uh, then we'll do a joint goodbye and, um, hmm. See what you think of the images. I haven't decided what I'm going to pick it. Nothing's really leapt out at me, but they've all been nice in their own different ways. And it will depend, I guess, on my mood when I process them, because that's the other part of the equation, isn't it? But if I've done nothing else, I've had the most fantastic time. I've been in some woodland. Uh, the pine trees have been amazing. I love the fact they're ramrod straight. And then we've got these little kind of other trees that are kind of filtering in, so be interesting to see what I choose. Right, here's me and Gary. Oh, so there we go. As you know, that's, um, it's been interesting today. I've seen things I don't normally see, but I'm not usually shooting at midday. Um, and I'm not usually, usually shooting at the end of summer. There's, the color hasn't gone. I think last year the color went a lot quicker, but we've had a bit, I've had such a wet um, September, October, and it's quite warm. But uh, Gary, how did you find it? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really not my forte. I think I've really struggled. I think round two goes to you. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, I said earlier that I, I kind of felt like um, creatively I've kind of captured how I was feeling, but it will be interesting to see when I process it whether that all changes and I go dark or, or or what. But I think I've got some images I quite like. I'm not sure really. Well, um, it, it was more of a challenge than it is first thing in the morning with mist, but um, I just love being out in the woodland. I mean, it's fantastic. But. There we go. We're going to say goodbye there. If, if you fancy, by the way, challenging either me or Gary or both of us, um, then get in touch. Leave a comment down below on my blog or Gary's blog or via the website and uh, tell us where you want us to come and uh, we'll see if we can get diaries together and maybe you could be challenging us. Oh, round three. Round for round three. 
Okay, thanks ever so much then guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoy the pictures which are coming up now. Give Gary some love over on YouTube and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Thank you.